What's going on guys, it's your boy Random Guy Kev here and of course I have another video and I think this is one that uh, people always love to bring up. Speedsoft is the tos toxic part of Airsoft and no, I, I would have to disagree with that. I would think people are the toxic part of Airsoft. I don't care what game style you play, people are the toxic part of Airsoft. And let me explain this, Let me before you, before you come at me, let me explain. Um, but people, we like to talk about these different styles of, of, of airsoft and forget that it's all airsoft at the end of the day. I don't care if you wear camouflage, camouflage pants, or you wear shorts with, with some vans at the end of the day, it's all airsoft. And it comes back down to that player being the toxic piece puzzle that makes uh, makes or breaks airsoft as a whole. Um, the way th my reasoning for this is because, I mean, I always see videos online of people playing X, Y, Z, but it's always, I don't care what you wear. I can't lump you into a specific group because like you could wear a dye mask. Does that essentially mean you are a speed soft player? You could wear the, the, you know, um, you know, some tactical gear setup. Doesn't mean you're a Milsom style player. And you could you could wear a hoodie, and you might not be a casual player. It's identifying people by what they wear. A lot of times, uh, it can throw you for a loop. Because um, I can personally, I play with the hoodie, and and like I put uh, I put you know uh, one of those rental masks on, and I mean I didn't have an RGK hoodie on. I had a regular hoodie and went out to play. People didn't know who, who I was. I went out there and was tearing it up with the rental gun, and you can do that. Um, same thing applies with whatever style you play. A lot of people that, you know, have the dye mask, the tanks and all that stuff, they're not aggressive players. Some of them, you know, hang back, chill out. Whereas some of those people that could be wearing camouflage and all that extra heavy gear could be super aggressive. People just as uh, associate aggressive uh, players with speed soft. And, and, you know, the more slow paced with a uh, Milsim style or tactical style of play. No, no, no. People play how they feel like playing, whatever they're comfortable with. Honestly, like I can go out there and start the game like da -da 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 -da, and, and and just start running out there. Other times I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. Let me take my time. Oh, we're playing an objective. All right, let me let me chill out. Let me go this route. Let me go this route. And and people just assume just because you're part of this tier group, you're toxic. I mean, the same thing applies to any other group that you, we talk about in Airsoft. And I mean, people love talking about different groups, but at the same time, at the end of the day, it's people that are toxic at, at the end of the day, people in airsoft that are toxic. And sometimes you need to humble check them. Honestly, you need to, you need to humble, like, bruh, relax. If it's your friend that's causing the issues, stop them. You have to stop them as, because they're ruining everybody else's fun. They're ruining, they're having fun, but everyone else around is not. And that deters people from playing airsoft. That deters that deters new players from coming into it. My thing is, we need to grow. We need to continue growing airsoft as a whole. Not push people away. Not you know, not sitting there magged up in them. Not you know, or or sitting there screaming at them, ready to fight. Hey, I shot you! Rah 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 rah. Like, relax. Like, chill out. Take a breather. Eat some ice cream. Do something. Like, if that's your, if that's who you came with. You, you have to check them. You're part of their team, team in a sense. You check them, that's your friend. Tell them like, yo, relax. It's just a game, remind them. Just a game, have fun. We just gotta make sure everybody else is having fun as well. Like you could be having fun, but the type of fun you're having is ruining the fun for everyone else. People don't think that far. So when people automatically assume Speedsoft is a to toxic part of Airsoft, it is not. People are the toxic part of airsoft as a whole. Remember that. Just an FYI, I'm just, I'm just spitting my thoughts because at the end of the day, I don't care what you're wearing. You as a human being, uh, you're making this experience bad for everyone else around you, and that's just food for thought on that. When it comes to new players, people talk about like you know the people watching the the, the videos and you know seeing new players, new players jump in this in in the speed soft. I mean. You could you could say the same thing about when people watch uh um you know Milsom type videos or like Navridge videos where they see him snipe and they just oh I want to get I want to snipe too I'm gonna get it I'm uh, 
let let people dig their own hole. They they realize when they get in, like, oh, I bought the sniper rifle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snipe everyone, and then they realize, oh, this ain't for me. <laughs> like the, the the whole competitive side of uh, of, of airsoft, they they'll realize this ain't for me. I can't I can't keep up. I, I haven't worked out for this. I can't. People talk a big game, but they can't back it up. So, um, again, when it when it comes to the toxicity in airsoft, don't associate it with uh, a specific play style, what people wear, what what they're doing. A lot of times, it's the person, it's the people in airsoft that are toxic. I don't care what game style you play, it, people forget to have fun, and then you know they'll they'll sit there and be like, oh, I'm gonna go here and you know, have fun. I just want to run through everything and just shoot. We have to, we as a community have to be, you know, the police for it. Like if that is your homeboy, if that's your homegirl, they're the ones causing it. Tell them stop because they're going to ruin the fun for everybody else. And then you, you look at what's going on in the world as far as issues. Then it's like, oh, the, you know, airsoft is banned because people have seen these videos, but you think it might not happen, but it will. But that's a different topic. But let me know what your your thoughts on that, on the toxicity of airsoft as a whole. Um, do you feel like it's, uh, like I said, it's, I feel like it's the people in airsoft that are the toxic ones. And we should we should hold these people accountable for just because. Just if they're our friends, if these are the people we know, yeah, hold them accountable. You have to. Because they'll ruin the fun for everyone else. Let me know your thoughts on that. And we'll take it, we'll take it from there. Hope to catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.